I wonder if TJ's going to run into any of his old professors up there at <laughs> Linden State. Oh, it's not Linden State anymore, but it was when he went there. All right, uh, great spot for TJ down mm -hmm. here. Weather looks good for the partial. What it tells exactly what is partial. So the partial is the amount of coverage that we see of, of the sun. So right. we see 90% coverage, so that means that 10% of the sun is still visible even at our peak for us. So okay. we are going to still see a sliver of the light, which means we won't be nearly as dark as the 100% coverage that is in the path of totality. But still don't look at the sliver. Yeah, still don't look at it with your bare <laughs> eyes as you know any other given day. Uh, the <laughs> sun is not dangerous. You know, it's not stronger today than it is any other day. Just, you know, go about your day as your normal, you know, business, but just don't stare into the sun with your phone or your eyes and have those special glasses on for today. Looking outside, we're looking at bright skies. Actually, the solar report, good Good time for this. Looking at lots of sunshine today and for tomorrow after we had clouds over the weekend. And again, looking at the good numbers for our electricity generated in megawatts per hour. 2,700 for today, about 3,000 tomorrow. We're going to be seeing a little bit more sunshine tomorrow. But overall, good numbers today and tomorrow for our solar report. So again, have those eclipse glasses ready this afternoon for that solar eclipse that begins around 215, peaks around 330 this afternoon. East Greenwich, looking at quiet conditions here. Temperatures in the 40s now are rising here as well as in Providence, looking at blue sky, sunshine, quiet weather. Radar is not showing any rain or snow. We'll be staying dry for today. Temperatures, they're going to be rising quickly through the morning hours. We're already at 44 in Smithfield, 45 in New Bedford. We'll be near 60 by noontime today. Three key things. Of course, the solar eclipse this afternoon begins around 2.15, it peaks around 3.30, ends around 4.38. Nice through tomorrow, also tracking though some more rain and wind for the second half of the work week. Here's that eclipse. You can see it begins, like I said, 215, 90% maximum eclipse. This is our peak here in Southern New England. This is what we would see something similar to this. So this is the moon, of course, the darker shaded area. The sun is behind it, that little crescent there. That is what we should be seeing around 3.30 for today. As we go towards that five o'clock hour, between about 4.30 and five, you can see the sun becomes fully visible and eventually we'll be looking at just the normal sky conditions across our region. Again, not looking at darkness for us here, but we may see a little bit more dim light later on today. Here's the forecast, again, looking at temperatures, upper 50s, lower 60s. For the eclipse, things are looking good for that. Some things to keep in mind, of course, I've been mentioning those viewing glasses. A lot of places have them. We have a full list on our website as well. Find a good viewing spot. Really, anywhere you can see the sun is a good spot, but maybe be higher up away from, you know, buildings and trees and things like that. Also, like I said, don't look directly into the sun and avoid using your phone camera. The sun can actually damage the camera and, again, cause issues uh, with your phone and your eyes as well. So. Here's our weather setup, high pressure in place across our area. This is keeping us nice and clear along the eastern seaboard here. But notice clouds off to the west, rain showers as well. We shouldn't see any of that for today or even tomorrow. We'll be staying dry across our region. We can time it all out here. Temperatures rising quickly. Noontime near 60 degrees, some high clouds. So wispy, thin, uh, high clouds in the atmosphere, not gonna hinder anything in terms of visibility. So we should be good as we go through the uh, afternoon hours for the eclipse. Again, temperatures well into the 60s across the board. Here's 430. As we go into tonight, some extra clouds build in, but staying dry, no rain or snow expected. Those clouds clear out just in time for Tuesday, giving us a more sunny day, again, with temperatures once again, back into the 60s. So get outside, enjoy today's weather and tomorrow's weather changes around the way for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Clouds, shower chances, breezy conditions, another unsettled pattern for the second half of the week. The good news is, although it's going to be raining for three days, potentially, we do have a nice weekend ahead. Temperatures, upper 50s, lower 60s with bright skies for Saturday and Sunday. As always, the full seven-day forecast on our website, WPRI.com. So, Melissa, people this weekend spent traveling up north to get to those destinations. A lot of people. Uh, maybe some extra cars on the road this morning. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we're seeing a number of issues out there this morning and that, of course, is causing some extra delays, mm. unfortunately. So if you're heading out the door, we do have this crash right behind me. You can see it on 295. This just popped up in the last couple of minutes ago, right over by Plainfield Pike. So